So this morning we are going to mobilise an enzyme, zymase, which is found in yeast. So, um, Ushin, you have weighed out 0.4 grams of sodium alginate here on the balance. What are you going to do with it now? Uh, I'm going to add 10 centimetres cubed uh, of water into the 0.4 grams of sodium alginate. Good man, yeah. Perfect. That's lovely. And what do you do with it now? Uh, dissolve it. Great stuff. That's lovely. So we'll leave you there dissolving that. And uh, Benedict, um, you have weighed out two grams of the yeast, which contains the enzyme thymase. So what are you going to do with that now? I'm also going to add 10 centimetres cube of water to it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Great and stuff. I'm going to stir it, dissolve. Yeah, just stirring well. Very, very good. Okay, that's excellent. Now, um, what we'll do is, well, I think that's well dissolved there now, Benedict, that's great. So you have the third chemical. So we are using the sodium alginate and we're using calcium chloride to immobilize the enzyme that's found in yeast. So what are you going to do with the calcium chloride now, Benedict? We're going to add a hundred centimeters cube of water to it. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> Lovely. Great stuff. That's wonderful. So that's dissolving well there. So, Ushin, good man, you have uh, dissolved the um, sodium alginate there. And we have the yeast dissolved here. So what are we going to do with these two solutions now? Uh, we're going to mix them together. Yeah. So will you add the yeast into the sodium alginate, please? Yeah, very good. Wonderful, that's perfect. That's looking very well now. Good. So what you what do you have to do with it now, guys? Uh, we got a thick syringe mm -hmm. and put it in. Yeah, so you can take out the stirring rod there and maybe to give yourself a bit more space. I'm going to try and draw it up. I know it can be quite difficult sometimes. Draw up the solution into the syringe. Okay, so if we have some of it there, we'll have to do it in um, stages. And what are you going to do with it now? We're going to slowly drop it into the calcium chloride. Mm -hmm. I'll just move the label on that one there. We'll just put the calcium chloride label in front of it again. Very good. And how do you add it? In small drops. Drop wise, very good. From a height of 10, 10 centimetres or so. Very strange. Very good. Excellent. Now, how long do we have to leave this for? 10 minutes. Very good. And we're going to leave it to solidify. Now, once we have left it for 10 minutes to solidify, a gel will form around the yeast and immobilise the yeast. Now, to get the uh, beads, the gel beads out, we're going to use this sieve then to separate it, and we'll rinse them with water. And then we're going to use the immobilised yeast to convert sucrose to glucose. And we'll compare how immobilised yeast converts the sucrose to glucose compared to free yeast. Okay, so that's the first stage of the immobilization of yeast. Excellent work, boys.